If the S monitoring function is set up on a controller, S bus meter data is automatically read, stored and visualized. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can use and process the stored data in your program. Open your project and set up a page for reading out the data. My controller already has a connected S bus meter with address 1, from which data is automatically read and stored by the S monitoring application. As you can also use this data in the program, S monitoring provides two F boxes. With the read all F box, you can read all values from the connected energy meter and save them in a database. You just have to activate the F box and enter the address. In my case, 1. You must also add a database RAM in which you save the data. In addition to the read all F box, which reads all data from the S bus energy meter and saves it in a database, you can directly access an energy meter's day, month and year values with the read totals F box. Here, you just need to set the address and select the meter value that you want to display. Now, load the program on the controller. If you now go online, you see directly in the read totals F box the energy data from the connected energy meter with S bus address 0. At the same time, via the read all F box, all energy data from the meter is fed into the database. The F-Box Help shows you which data is situated where. With the F-Boxes I've just shown you, you can take the meter data that S-Monitoring automatically reads and use it in your program. Thus, you can operate alarms, calculate values or handle other control tasks.